Warning, I swear a lot. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So today, uh, I want to go after the rats again because we went after the Somodiles last time, but I do want to try and deal with the Umibozu. Now, I knew nothing about the Umibozu, and you guys are usually pretty chill when it comes to like spoilers and stuff because you guys like to let me figure it out for myself because that's kind of the spirit of the game. However, this time, someone did come forth and be like, Foreman, there are things you need to know about the Umibozu, and I actually think it was very good of them to do so because the Umibozu is kind of <laughs> unfair is a strong word, and I'm not sure if it's the one I'd use, but you are extremely likely to lose a party immediately if you go into this fight without knowing what's going on. For those of you who don't know, it's basically all around, it's all based around Death's Door, right? I'll explain more as we get into the fight, but Death's Door is going to be a required thing. Now, the person said you pretty much need a Dark Wraith, because Dark Wraiths have a lot of benefits when they go on Death's Door, as well as gain, gaining a free block so that they don't get killed. I don't have one, and I haven't been able to play this to get one, basically. I wasn't able to do it. I didn't have time. I couldn't do it. But what I do have, and this could end in horrible disaster, is a plan. I have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, boy, here we go. Because you see, the Wanderer has the Forbidden Technique, which basically puts him on death's door, but it guarantees critical hits, or at least a critical hit, I don't know, and buffs his damage by about 36%. Now, I mean, if you combine that with six demon banishment, you've got a hard-hitting attack already. However, there is more that we can do. Now, we got the Banner of the Defeated from our last fight, plus slaves and accuracy multiply, whatever, plus 50% dodge if health below 30%. So we throw that on. Already, his dodge would go up to approximately 52. Pretty good. But we can do better because if he gets, I'd say probably go with the uh, go with Wil Wilbur's flag, 45. Now, when he's below that amount of health, his dodge will go up to about 65, which is very high. But wait, there's more. We have the Martyr Seal, which grants an additional 60% damage at Death's Door, extra crit chance, and plus 12% death blow resist. Bringing his death blow resist up to 79%. He's also going to be dodging like crazy and hitting like a goddamn truck. Now, this is all well and good, okay? We have the samurai sword. That's very nice, but we should probably bring a full pie, and we have to take into consideration the fact that the Umibozu might not just attack the samurai, so we need to play this carefully. And also accept the fact that we might lose someone here. This is a champion. Okay, so it's not darkest, so it's not the worst thing in the world. The Witcher has fairly high... Uh, death blow resist and fairly high dodge, so we can work with this. I think there are two trinkets immediately that I can give him that increases dodge. Yeah, straight up. Extra dodge. Extra damage. And then we give him Ancestor's Tentacle Idol, which increases his death blow resist to 83%. On top of this, he has 60 dodge, so he'll be alright. The only problem is, of course, he might not ever get down to death's door. So that could be an issue. Channel up. But we need a group healer. We need someone to be able to bring everyone back, as it were. Or, just at the very least, people who shouldn't be, you know, getting hurt. And in fact, I'm going to give her the seal of Shalia because I don't want her taking... I don't want her dying, basically. She's not going to be someone who's on death's door and hitting the damn thing. She's going to be healing people. That is her job. And if I do it this way, she will never have to heal herself because she'll always gain 2 HP. Right? Now, I don't know why I actually gave her a bunch of healing items, because that's meaningless, because she, I think he just brings us down to death's door all the time. I don't know. I don't know all of his skills. Maybe just leave him with healing items just in case. I don't know the boss. Here's the issue. So, you know, do we want someone who buffs? Hold up. Shadow. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. What if we got port in? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Port. You remember? Y'all, y'all remember Port? You Shadow Guard. There's all those effects from using his stealthing attack. We get Husking Bomb to blight it, because that'll probably work. I don't know. Give him the Charlatan's hat, bring his dodge up to 60. 
Now, this could work. I could be really smart right now, or this could be terrible and I'm going to lose everyone. And if so, then fuck it. I'll just have to do this stuff off camera, right? Get everyone back up. And I won't try, unless I think I have a perfect strategy, I won't try it again until I've properly prepared for it. But I would like to give the Umibozu a try. I don't want to actually provision yet. I want to make sure they've all got the right stuff. If we could kill it right now, right? We could probably get two bosses done in this video, and that would be great progress. That'd be really good progress. Now, I need the Forbidden Technique. Oh, baby, the buffs actually go up with each additional rank. Oh, so more damage. So 50% damage plus 10% damage guaranteed critical hit. Oh, baby, a triple. Now, what don't I need? Oh, God, I kind of need all these. I don't know. Is this going to be a guy who actually... I don't think I need 10,000 fold stance. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I need it. This is risky. Um, I'm not sure how much I appreciate the design of this boss, because from what I hear, a lot of this is going to be based on dice rolls, like even more than Dark Dungeon normally already is. But what can I do other than try? I don't even know what I should bring. Fuck it, a full stack of everything. Why not? You never know what's going to come in handy. I'm sure he probably has debuffs that allow him to lower our chances to resist, like lower our death blow resist or something, so that'll be necessary. Torches. Keep the light up. Minor and Memory won't be necessary if we've got major and Memories. And I don't know, uh, maybe some red seals. Just grab a fuck ton of red seals. And we'll just keep making sure they're active. I'm sure the fight won't last that long, but we don't know. Let's give it a try. The brink of death is often when one's greatest strengths arise. A decent hint, considering I know what's going on. But if I didn't know what's going on, I don't think I would have figured that out. A lot of this is going to be focusing on me to... um deal most of the damage, which means if if uh, he just decides to target me and he gets lucky and lands the hit, this fight could end very quickly. However, I get the impression I'm going to hit him really fucking hard. Also, if Port manages to stealth me quick enough, then that could work. And Shanalot is there, she can heal people, Keep them off death's door if it's not their job to be fighting him. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm more scared. Cannot be harmed by the living. Okay, well, James can't do anything right now. Light's not a thing. Okay, well, let's set this up. Less stress. That'll do something, I'm sure. Can you protect? Yeah, you can guard, allies. All right, guard Shanalot. Okay, I've got a plan. Uh, stun resist is super high. I'm not gonna stun him. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Inspiration. Oh. Improvement. That increases accuracy. Fuck it. Throw it all on. Why not? What, what do we got to lose? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Okay. Shadow cloak me. I get extra flat damage. Oh. Oh. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Protection doesn't work. Now the question is, can he bypass stealth as well? Oh no, she can't be guarded. I'm a moron. I'm a fucking moron. I didn't even consider that. She can't be guarded. She has the seal of Shalia. All right, forbidden technique. I immediately get to act. This is perfect. Seventy-one damage. Okay. Okay. Just a touch. This worked out. Alright, well, James can't do much right now. Buh. We go for a 19 to 26 damage. Or I could keep going for unanswered perfection. It's good damage. The blood quickens. Okay, I guess we're going with that. Um, you can't currently. He's got a major bleed resistance. So he's not going to be able to do anything. Ah, uh, fuck, man. I don't know. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Attempts to bind it, it didn't do shit, but at least you tried. Oh boy. 
He bypasses, he 100% bypasses guard. Okay, he definitely does that. All right, well, now I know. You can use judgment to hurt him and heal yourself. You see, you see, it's a good plan. Abyssal horror. Okay, that's not so bad. That's just horror, that's fine. Can deal with that. 72 damage. Erased, the blade sings true. Unfortunately, I'm now visible. Uh, my dodge is currently at 67, that's pretty good, but if he kills me, I'll die. <laughs> so that's a thing. <laughs> really putting myself on the line here. We've established the guarding does nothing because um, he just bypasses it, which to be fair, makes sense. Oh, uh, fuck it. Just slap it, do what you can. I ain't your papa. Now you need to wait, uh, I think another turn before using Shadow Cloak, so I am gonna be vulnerable for a while, which ain't great. Try and bind it, why not? The fuck else are you gonna do? Just a touch. He did First manage to hit it back though. So that actually, you know, helped. Pretty good. Now let's heal port. Uh, don't kill me, bro. Ah! Hang on. Oh, did you see my dodge? Did you see my dodge number? Did you see it? And I got hit anyway. <laughs> I don't know what's more surprising there, the number or the fact that I got hit. Yeah, look at my dodge! Oh, my damage. That's my damage. 14, 13 to 2, 8... What? Theoretically, I should kill him immediately. <laughs> I won't, but I should. Now we need port. Good. Oh, I st still can't use Shadow Cloak. That's not good. Uh, ah, oh, I really hoped he was gonna get to use Shadow Cloak. Okay, fuck it. Pistol horror. She doesn't do any damage. Uh, it's fine. It's just stress. In fact, we can, we can, yeah, we can cure it. Get out of the way. It's all fine. It's all good. Keep healing port because. Uh, what else are you doing, really? Calm observation. Stress, why does it not move? Why does it not move? Why? Just kill it, just kill it, just kill it. Just get out of my fucking sight, bruv. Yes, time to buff the damage. Let's go, let's go! Six demon banishment, you will be banished. Working him down. Oh boy. Good, good, good. Now, I don't want to heal my character because I can only use the forbidden technique once. So, uh, he needs to stay on death's door, basically, in order to do the damage. He's now below half health, which means flowing water cut will do an insane amount of damage. So I don't need to set up unanswered perfection anymore. I just need to keep hitting him, basically. I don't know, slap him, fuck it. If you get hit at some point, it'll be good. Uh, flowing water cut, yeah boy. No one else is doing anything. Uh, but it's fine. I guess things going okay. Calm observation. Freaks us out. Face me, you monster! <laughs> Face me! You bitch! Do you still heal from that? Did you get- That did relieve some stress. That's good. That's good. Just a touch. Still no. Inex inexorable weight, crushing even steel. God, I love the Wanderer, he's so cool. We're still not getting much done right now, but uh, well we can make some stuff happen. Cicadas in summer. He's got 100 health left. He's a quarter health, we're doing all right. Just gotta keep hitting him. Just gotta keep hitting him. Uh, ooh. The dodge is real, the dodge is real. Uh, good job there, Shanalot. Calm observation. Why does it not move? It's so creepy. What a creepy boy he is. Can I use flowing water? I can. I have a plan. I have a plan. Can I use... Yeah, and use Shadow Cloak. I have a plan. Impressive. Mark it. 
Red seal. Go f Motherfucker, the damage went down. What happened? Why did the damage go down? Did he ru did his forbidden technique buffs run out? Oh fuck. Well, that's not ideal. Oh well. I guess I'm gonna have to start using Unarsed Perfection again. Yeah, that's not ideal, but you'll be okay. Choose Judgment. There we go, she's good. Oh, okay. He really doesn't like her. Okay. When you go after James, you bitch. Okay, Unarsed Perfection then, we're going for it. up with the extra damage. Calm observation. It's going all right, though. We're oh, that was a lot of stress. We shall not survive. Nah, you'll survive. Nah, you'll survive. Good hit, good hit. And she's back. He really wants her dead. He really wants her dead. He is so keen to make her dead. Why don't you just move forward, one? There we go. Six demon banishment, could we end it now? Oh, you know we can! Yeah. So obviously, uh, the boss is not that bad once you know it's gimmick, but if you don't know it's gimmick, what the fuck would you do? He would have murdered at least, uh, I think, best case scenario, he would have killed multiple members of this party before I figured out what the gimmick was and managed to take him down. Most likely, I think he would have wiped a pie. And I, and worst case scenario, he would have wiped a party and I wouldn't have figured out the gimmick. And like, I'd have had to have waited until this video went up and you guys were like, oh, his gimmick is this. So I don't encourage people to post like details about things and spoilers and whatnot and backseat game and whatever. And indeed the person who posted the comment themselves was like, I'm not trying to backseat you here right now, but this is almost impossible to do if you don't know what's going on. This was a... A suitable moment to do that right like i appreciate them doing that this was a suitable time to do it but i definitely will say do try to avoid backseating me if possible and spoiling stuff but this was a good time to do it and i'm very grateful that the person did it because i would have lost these heroes for sure don't need the red seals fuck it such a burden of finery risks life and limb i would have liked to have investigated those first but I have to return to the Hamlet because it's nowhere to go. Still, we did it. We did it. We actually did it. We took down the Umibosu, the unkillable monster. Dead. Sharpened Ungui. You could make a real death deal. Death. Death's door build. You really could. Oh my god, you could. Oh my god, you could turn the Wanderer into a monster. With the use of the forbidden technique. Extra damage, accuracy, speed, bypassing stealth, the death's door. Extra debuff chance and debuff target with extra damage received on death's door. And then when you've got both of those together, that's plus 12% death blow resist and plus 33% dodge at death's door. If you combine that with um, the Vengeful Spirit's banner, that's an extra 83% dodge at death's door. Oh boy. That's the whole thing. And James got Yokai Slayer, despite the fact he didn't touch the fucking thing, but hey, I'm happy. Good job, bro. Nice one. Well, we did it. We killed the Omi Bo Oma Bo Bo Oma Bo Bo. It's the Omi Bo Zu uh, Oma Bo Bo. I'm gonna call him the Omi Bo Bo. I believe there's one more boss to take care of in the Summit Isles before we're done there, but we won't be doing that today, I don't think. I wanna cl quickly clean out the rats as well. I didn't get a chance to play this off camera over the last week, and I'm really going to need to do that because I need to sort the courtyard out so we can just sweep through there. No Ooh! No peace for this wretched soul. By hateful curse or malign miracle, it seems even death may be defied in this damnable place. Only one of these soldiers can be returned to the living. Gordon? Evelyn? Or Pinnell? Gordon or Pinnell, basically. Well, we don't have an active jester at the moment. No, we don't have an active legend jester, so Pinnell would be a good choice. Welcome back, Pinnell. It's been a while. You will be laughing still 
at the end. He's still laughing. We warded off the Omibozu. Umibozu. Umibazu. Banjo Kazooie. Can I get a fucking bounty hunter yet? No, there's no bounty hunter here. Cool. Anything else? Someone has attacked a Raiju. The now provoked crustacean is now going on murderous frenzy, butchering anything it comes across. Put this savage down before it destroys the whole archipelago. Well, not yet. We shan't do that yet. But now we have a target. Now we have a target. Now we have a target. We never have to fight the Hellpit Abomination again, so I ain't gonna, put simply. Now we move back to the Doom Wheel. Now the Doom Wheel is fucking scary, if you guys remember. Really fucking scary. So we're gonna need to take this carefully. Doom Wheel likes to attack the whole pie, right? That's his thing, that's his shtick. He likes to just blitz the pie. So I'm thinking... We get people who hit him back. I'm thinking we set up a bunch of reposters. Preferably with high dodge so that they don't get hurt too bad. And make him suffer on his turns. That's my idea. All right, well, I've got another plan, as it were. I've got my plan. It's heavy repost party. Uh, let's fucking see how it does, I suppose. May carelessly trample on its allies while rushing. Boy, I hope it does. A marvel of technology. An engine of destruction. The war machine is close. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's clearly left. Clearly left. It's a straight path. Not too bad. Could be worse. Let's get some fucking supplies. Good. Glittering gold. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Shit like that can keep someone off death's door. It's exactly what you want to see. The light. The promise of safety. Oh, fuck. It's exactly what you don't want to Oh, fuck. It's not a lot of damage, not as much as it should be, but at the very least, it allows him to move around. Plenty of bleed, you'll love to see it. Oh yeah, Leap of Faith. Oh, go on, lass, go for it. Seven damage. If you did like 19, this would do him. Oh, that's done him. He's gone. Everyone takes more damage. Okay, I think we can handle that. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. He's practically dead. Dead. Oh, we've got it. Oh, we've got it. Don't even worry about it. Concerned? Nah, not me. No, we can absolutely bleed him to death. Pretty sure. Yep, it's gonna be quite easy. Oh, he's fucked. Oh, it's over. Just take him away. Take him away. He's embarrassing himself. 25 damage, but he's dead. Dead, he's dead. Apparently it was more than that. A bravery potion. Minus 15% damage received. Plus 5% crit. All of that. Furious facts. If I could get that other trinket... I could make the librarian a fucking melee class. That'd be fun. Well, actually, as much as the money seems nice, the 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 deeds, the busts, the uh, heirlooms are actually way more important for us right now. Because the more um, districts we can build, the more benefits we get, the stronger our people will be in fights. And that just, you know, flat buffs are really helpful. Don't need that. Don't want it. Warp fire thrower. Well, guess who's dying first? He will die. We will kill him. He will die. We will kill him. Oh. Die quicker, please. Oh, no. Don't stun. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. For an ability that I said he'd never do, he sure is doing it a lot. It's a good thing I equipped it at the last fucking second. I forgot that Bonifon has fucking reflection, which gets even higher at low torch. Which means he's actually well suited to fighting the Doom Wheel, especially if he sets up his repost. He'd be doing a fuck ton of damage every single time it attacks him. 
We're gonna need to do some healing though. Uh, people are looking a little peaky. Slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. We're doing all right. We're doing just fine. Down you go. You've stumbled forward again. Look at you doing that thing. Shot his fucking face. Take him out. Good to go. You're all alone, little man. How does it feel to be a bitch? You'll have to let me know. No problems. Just trample him. Just fucking trample him. Just trample him. He's got nothing. It's embarrassing. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. For a weird conglomeration effort from Clan Scryer, Mulder, and God knows what else, uh, they sure aren't really bringing it, are they? Sackrat. It's a fucking Sackrat. Oh, Frubo, my sack. Oh, my sack broke. Get him. Kick his ass. Oh, you're absolutely messing him up. He doesn't stand a chance. Get out of it. Give them no quarter. I actually don't know if we have a solar crown. We probably do. We probably do. We have so many trinkets by this point. We probably do. Please, no plague priests in the future. I beg of you. I really don't want it. No plague priests. Not here, I mean after the mission. Because we're probably gonna win. Like, I don't wanna be too confident, guys, but we're kind of kicking their asses right now. Oh fuck, there's a fight right outside the boss. What an asshole move. Don't appreciate it. Do not appreciate it. May as well do this, I guess, for the buffs. Why not? Hopefully there's some in front of the boss door as well. We can get some buffs going. But I'd argue that getting more dodge would be more important than getting damage. This shouldn't be a problem. We'll see. Plenty of bleed, plenty of bleed. You love to see it. Practically dying already. Now we're going to have some trouble hitting him, so I'm thinking if we set up the reposting situation, like so. Also, I'm forcing him to the front, so that could be an issue for him. But if we uh, make sure that we can retaliate against him, his stun resist is fairly low, so if Bonifont shoots him, he will probably get stunned. Could set up for a repost. Or a visceral attack, I mean to say. Or you could just tear him apart, I suppose. He's nearly dead. Wow, that was close. Immediately. Wow. Very nearly dead. There's no corpses to, uh, to go for either. Oh, fuck! He headshot him. He just capped him. He's dead. Oh my god. Wow. 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 What the shit? And he's practically back to full health. Bonifant. Wow, they made the Knight of Cain powerful. I'm fucking powerful. I'm feeling it. Down you go. This expedition at least promises success. Good shit. Take the blood, fuck it, why not? We could probably do with portraits or crests more, but I guess it's good to stay topped up on the blood. We don't actually know for certain how long the courtyard is going to take. Also, because I have the outsider's campfire, we gain more respite points, which is just amazing. And then first story, which gives everyone extra dodge. Long ago in the land of stone faces. I tell you what, if you go on to fucking... Um, Wooly versus right. He did a series called Scrub Lords on a uh, dun. What's it called? What's the fucking game called? What's the fucking game called? Uh, Kingdom Death. I think it's called like Kingdom Death Monster or something. But they have a uh, a narration at the start of that, and that voice actor is incredible. It sounds so good. I'd like. I enjoyed those videos anyway because I like Wooly. But I'd recommend watching that video just for that narration because it is fucking sick. Makes you want to play. It made me want to play. Uh, Grant, that's not hard to do, because I want to play Erefin, but I wanted to play after I heard it, because it sounded so cool. It's lagging a little bit, which concerns me. I don't want the capture fucking out in the middle of the boss fight. Like it did with the Storm Fiend last time. That was really annoying. We should be able to blow through these guys pretty quick. Lots of blood. 
marked to death, I see. What are you doing looking at pictures of titties on the internet, I see? Get out of here. That's not one we can retaliate against, which is quite annoying, but hey, what are you going to do? Oh, so Pippery can actually, um, she can do that from the second position, which can move Dismas back without needing to use a uh, point-blank shot, which would be good because he can't point-blank shot a stealth target. Uh, pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's very dead. Yeah, he's extremely dead. You're going to get hit by that assassin and it's going to suck. So you may as well hit him first. He's actually got 100 accuracy while stealthed, so... And that marked for death attack is guaranteed to crit against marked targets. So Grent's going to go into the boss fight with significantly lower health, which is not what I wanted, to put it bluntly. Really not what I wanted. I wish you would have your turn so you'd fucking... Wow! Because she was marked. Ah, oh, this is not a good start. I wish he'd just die so that we could target him, but that's not happening, and you can't hit the third position, so... Fuck it, I guess. How annoying. I would have Gren use her whip, but she needs to heal people. Oh, how irritating. Not a great start going into the boss fight, really. But what can we do? This was the hand we were dealt. Kill him. He's a problem. Now you're forced to the front. You could probably still do all your abilities from the front, because why the fuck not? So let's make sure he dies. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Spend the food, get everyone as healthy as they can. I don't know, just do our best, I suppose. Throw down some holy water. I would use the basic medical supplies, but to be honest, we want to wait. We'd rather wait in case any afflictions happen, or if someone goes down to death's door and it's their turn and they can't heal, they could use basic medical supplies to get themselves off of death's door. So, that'd be good. Alright. Come on, buddy. Is that gold-plated doom wheel? Looks very nice. Let's hold fast. Sense it. The brighter, the more accurate. The darker, the easier your ter heroes get terrified. Well, then let's kill the fucking light. Don't need it. May indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. We want to start reposting as quickly as we can. Can you actually bleed this thing? No, you can't. Then I suggest that uh, Grant focuses on healing people. If we manage to get a lucky stun, she could capitalize on a visceral attack. But other than that, she's going to be playing healer. There we go. Of course you targeted the one person who was not reposting. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Anticipation. He's not exceptionally durable. There we go. We just fucked him up. Just hit him real hard and stunned him. I think that's a free action. He just gets to do that anyway, so... It's all fair. It's fair. It's fair. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Haunting the hearts of men. I think we should take advantage of that while we still can. Oh yeah. Got his health back and all. Okay, good. Grant's back up to full. Uh. You may as well point blank shot, because your open vein isn't going to do nothing against him. Rolling doom. This is going to hurt for you. Oh, it hurt for us too, though. Oh, it was quite bad, actually. Oh, it wasn't great. We are stunning him each time, though. Lights on. Well, I'm going to turn the lights off. Because you can't actually stop me from doing that. Check it out. Look, it's dark again. Dumbass. Zap, zap. Oh, good counter. Good counter. Oh, he hates it. Oh, the crit build was... The repost build even was the way to go. He heals himself, that's fine. We do plenty of damage. I'd like you to keep that going. I want you to suss end this up as well. Oh, 13 crit, you love to see it, you love to see it, you love to see it. Have her move back too so she can start healing again. Lights on. Well, if it's my turn next, I'll turn him off again. I didn't get to. 
I was say, you don't have any space for more people. Oh, wow. You got hurt real bad, didn't you? You bell end. I'm going to turn the lights off again, because fuck you. That's fine. We don't need to see. We just need to hit. Preheating the engine. This is fine. We've got him. He's a loser. And he smells bad. On top of everything else, he smells bad. Just ask him. Uh, it's all right, buddy. We'll set you up with one of those, so you're good to go. There we go. Five to ten. You may as well do that. Buff yourself. Now you can start healing people. Uh, I do believe Bonifon needs it the most. Is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. You could probably do a anticipation. Actually, you could probably do a soothing slash. Uh, but we can actually get rid of that, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, anticipation. That extra dodge will be very helpful. Rolling doom. Fucked. That's how your boy does it. That's how your boy does it. These nightmarish creatures can Red dancer be shoes, nice. Can be beaten. That's what happen when I go into a fight and I know what I'm doing. Today has been a resounding success. Resounding success. Full victories, nothing but victories, no losses. We even got someone back. We even got a hero back. No need to we not lose anyone, we gained someone. A level six, no less. This has been, dare I say it once more, a resounding success. Absolutely trashed them. No contest. Our heroes are the best. They fucking rule. Yeah, no new corrupted Hamlet shit. Good. All we gotta do now is take down the ferocious storm fiend, get its trophy, which is pretty fucking good actually. And that'll be the end of the Vermintide. Is Vermintide still in beta? I remember. Is it? I think it's still a beta, isn't it? It is exceptionally polished for a fucking beta. I'll tell you that much. Very been very impressed with it. I keep forgetting that's the Shrouded Chief. We're not fighting him again. Fuck that. You're our main concern at the moment, Miss Countess. I mean, I don't know how bad the Raiju is, actually. He might be a concern. Maybe I should take that into consideration. I don't know. I actually forgot to cure everyone of their shit. That's fine. Quickly check. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Uh, no dice. No Bounty Hunter. What a shame. It's unfortunate, really, that there's no fucking Bounty Hunter, because there never fucking is. What do you want? A pint. Yeah, you want a pint. Yeah, you want a pint. Yeah, I'll give you a pint. Pint, you want a fucking pint? Yeah, you can have a pint. Yeah, that's fine. Go, go on, have, go have a pint. Fucking absolute bell end. Go on, have your pint. Yeah, you have a pint. You fucking dickhead. And your pints. Give me your creeping cough. Get out of here. All right. Well, that's today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. We are just kind of plowing through now. Things are good. We're doing great. Everything's fine. Will it stay that way? I don't know. I don't know what the redoubtable Fryju is like. Could be a problem. Could be a real big problem. Well, shit, dude. Get me that motherfucking granary. Yes. Extra healing while eating and some food is grind for free each week because we were so struggling with money by this point. We're just going to want to get House of the Yellow Hand because those are some nice bonuses. In fact, we could literally do that right now. And I'm gonna. House of the Yellow Hand. Yes. Excellent. Plus 4% crit for all of those classes. Very fucking nice. Is there anything else to get? There's still the Warpstone Refinery, which I do not care about in the slightest. Sanguine Vinters, which I actually don't care about in the slightest. Uh, Honorable Shrine, which actually would be quite good, I suppose. It makes the Minor and Major Omemories useful, even in, when we go into, say, the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, oh, hello. Well, yeah, there's this stuff related to the Endless Harvest. Which could be good, actually. That is some useful stuff. And of course, the Red Hook, which we're going to have to look into. I'm going to need to build that before the end of the series. But I'm rambling, I'm digressing, none of this matters.
thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try and have a go at the courtyard off camera, set us up for the Countess fight, and then we can go straight there and give her a good scene too. And then, once we've taken down the Raiju and the Storm Fiend, Darkest Dungeon time. We're going straight there. That'll be what? Three or four episodes, I suppose, because it'll be what an episode per part of the Darkest Dungeon depending on how long they are, I guess. I think the first part's really quick, so I don't know. We'll see. But the point is, the end is in sight, ladies and gentlemen. The end is legit in sight. If everything goes according to plan, and that's a big if, I'll grant you, next episode, we, cl we could clear these things. Perhaps the episode after that, we could clear the courtyard. And then, I don't know, probably do the first Darkest Dungeon quest, actually, because all we would be doing in the courtyard is fighting the Countess, so we could go straight to the Darkest Dungeon, start from there. Don't know. Don't know. I don't plan these things particularly extensively, so we'll find out when we get there. But I really need to pee, so I'm going to have to wrap this up right now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I'm literally about to die from too much bladder storage over max capacity. So whatever happens next time, and I imagine it'll be the Raiju and the Storm Fiend, I don't know. We'll see. But whatever happens, it might just be one of them. I don't know how long the Raiju thing is, but whatever happens, I hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye. Goodbye.